Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am unboxing some cover minders from Dazzle Diamond Dreams on Etsy. Okay, uh, before I actually start the unboxing, I thought it might be a good idea to explain what cover minders are for people who are maybe still thinking about diamond painting or have just started and have no idea what a cover minder is or what it's used for. Cover minders, um, like this one, are basically a magnet and a magnet. They all have that in common, but they have a lot of different designs. And what people use them for is if you are doing a diamond painting and you have the cover over the glue and you peel it back say you wanted to work on this area here sometimes the cover can tend to flip back and it gets really annoying so what people do is they use the cover minders and see it just flip back there um, they fold it back and they put one magnet underneath and the other magnet on top and that stops this from flipping over i also use them instead of using the a4 and um, sometimes you get the key and it's printed on a sheet of a4 and um, you do not want paper touching the glue it will just rip so what I've started to do is, before I start, I cut out the key because I cut the borders off when I finish the diamond painting, so I don't need them. So what I do is I cut uh, the key out, and this is one that I did, or I should say here's one I did earlier. Um, and this is the way that I cut them, and I leave a space at the top, so I can put the cover minder at the top. And the reason I do that is I don't need an A4 sheet of paper on the table. So there is absolutely no chance the paper is actually uh, going to touch the glue. So I, I just move this to wherever I want it. And the cover minder just provides a bit of weight so it doesn't um, sort of slide around. It just sits where I leave it. So you can keep the key really close to where you work. If it said I was working in a section here, I can set the key there. The other thing is... As I said, if uh, paper touches uh, this glue, it will stick and it will rip and um, it will ruin your key if you use the A4. The thing about the canvas is it will easily lift off if you accidentally drop it on it. So it's not going to tear, rip or ruin your key. So that's the two different ways. Um, some people just use them as decoration. They like to have these little things uh, just to brighten up your workspace. So that's basically it. Uh, a cover minder is a magnet and another magnet. That is the most basic idea. So this little teddy bear is one that um, I've had for quite a while and uh, it is pretty small. So I was talking to Chantel, who is in the Diamond Painting Gym Facebook group, and she told me that her and her mum uh, were going to start an Etsy shop selling cover minders and other bits and pieces related to diamond painting. So when I heard that, I was interested, and she said that she hand paints them. So I thought, okay, this sounds interesting. And uh, I said, let me know when the shop is up. And she did. So the Etsy shop or Etsy store uh, is called Dazzle Diamond Dreams. And I will put a link in the description. So getting down to business, this is the box that I received from Chantel. And I forgot to get out a knife. Okay. So... I did buy these cover minders, they aren't a freebie, they aren't a gift, I did buy them, so I just wanted to point that out. Uh, I'll just figure out how to open the box. Ok. 
Okay. <coughs> so first things first, very well packed. Plenty of bubble wrap. Now the reason for this, <coughs> excuse me, is that the cover minders are actually made of glass. So not exactly sure what to expect. Okay, so this is the first one. Very nice little box, and we'll see what's inside. So we have a velvet bag. This, you know, this is heavy. Uh, we have a velvet bag, and inside we have candy. I will uh, I will test them later and now we have thank you and some blue tissue and inside that we have a cup of mine now. so I'll move the box I think <coughs> First things first, this is big and it is heavy. Um, I think I'll put the light on. Let's see how that looks. I guess. Yeah, that's a bit better. So, as I said, um, these are hand painted, so the area underneath the bee is hand painted, so every one is unique. It's really cool and a very strong magnet, huge magnet, huge washer. The washer is also painted to match. So just as a comparison, I'll have a look at the little teddy bear that I've been using. That is the difference in size of the magnets. So um massive difference and you can hear that that is a very strong magnet so there is absolutely no way that anything is going to move so that is number one so really nice pack I mean you can see the box is even lined so very very good quality and the velvet bag as well so if you know someone who diamond paints and uh, you think they may like a cover minder very very nice gift uh, setup so we'll have a look at the second box so same again nice box and velvet bag and again I can feel uh, it's heavy but these are solid glass so that's why they're so heavy and more candy I think I'll set the candies up here and I may report back to which one I like the best um, I've never actually seen these before I don't know Mamba so four candies so far that's the bonus and again wrapped in tissue paper thank you not or thank you sticker <coughs> oh very pink so this is actually the back and um, because it's got a magnet and again the washer is hand painted as well and uh, oh that's very very shiny you can see how it changes so I should say that the, the bee is is mine I got this one for myself I just I really like the colours and it looks like honey that the bee is sitting on I just thought it looked really cool so this is my one and this is for my wife 
so really nice again hand painted so everyone will be different sorry to move the candy maybe move the candy down here Uh, put that one out of the way. Next. Oh. This is a big box. Oh, lots of nice stuff in here. So, nice little card. You make this world a beautiful place. And got a butterfly. And then we have the card. So Dazzled Diamond Dreams. Beautiful hand painted glass art. Home and office decorations. Then uh, we've got the Etsy address and Instagram. I'll add both of these links into the description. But very nice. Very nice indeed. So... Have a look in this bag, see what we've got in this one. Hi Chu. Okay, these are all new to me. I don't get these in Denmark. And uh, that's it. So, very bright green. Try not to ruin it too much. As you said and done. And here we have blue. So this is the back. And Chantel, the magnet has come off. So I'm going to have to glue that again. It's just one of these things. But I do have glue, so it isn't a big deal. So that should be stuck on the back. And this is what we've got. And the reason I got this one is blue is my favourite colour and green is my wife's favourite colour. So again this is for my wife and to give you an idea of size I think we'll, uh, we'll bring back little Ted so you can see huge difference. And we actually have two and this one, that's why it was so heavy. And more candy. Sweet tarts. Soft and chewy ropes. Another one that I've never tried. I'm going to be busy. Thanks Chantel for the candy. So, same again. A uh, lined box, just a much bigger one. Because these are uh, larger cover minders. You can actually use them as uh, paperweights as well. If you know someone who works in an office and... Um, would maybe like a hand painted uh, paperweight you can order them as paperweights as well I have to say they are very very shiny really nice so last but not least Get the candy. Oh, hi, Chew. Put that to the side again. Bright green. Thank you. And again, this is the back. yellow I don't think the camera really shows it it is very very sparkly but on the other side we have a butterfly and again uh, this one's for my wife she really likes butterflies so I got this one for her so that's it um, four very very nice cover minders um, very large as well 
Um, I don't have a huge cover minder collection, so I have a little teddy bear, a little flower, <laughs> I feel like absolutely tiny now, and my own one. So it gives you an idea of the size, uh, they are pretty big, these are huge, but they are very uh, heavy and very, very shiny. Really nice. So I'll just have a quick look at them again. You can see how sparkly that is, and because it is so thick, it gives it a sort of 3D effect with the glass. And I like the fact that the back is also painted, it isn't just plain. It even has a little gem on the back as well to match the front. So, um, some effort has went into the back as well. And uh, normally, as I said, it would just be like, this is the back of mine. It's just plain, nothing, nothing to see. And the flower and the bear, exactly the same. So uh, it's nice to see uh, that effort went into the back. It's just a pity about the glue, but it's just one of these things that, like I said, it's no big deal. I'll just, uh, Sandpaper up back down and glue it on, and it'll be fine. But again, hand painted in the back, so they are all unique. And then the butterfly. I didn't want anything um, too blingy with uh, the multicolored gems, so uh, the gems in this one are uh, these are very dark green and they're actually very dark green as well. I thought they were black when I saw them in the picture, but they are actually all dark green. And I went for the green background so it looks like grass. And that, uh, that turned out really nice. And again, hand painted in the back as well with a huge magnet. You won't have uh, any problems with anything uh, disappearing once you've got these on them. So very, very nice Chantel. Uh, really impressed with them. I like my little bumblebee. So that's it. So if you're interested in having a look at them, um, you can find a lot more on Dazzle Diamond Dreams on Etsy. I will put a link in. Uh, Chantel and her mum sell more than uh, cover minders. You will find other things and they are all made um, to the same high standard. They are very nice, I have to say. I'm very impressed with them. So thank you very much, Chantel. Um, oh, little bear decided to jump on the magnet there. Um, yeah, they are very, very nice. So thank you, and that's it. Dazzle Diamond Dreams on Etsy. So uh, I've just found a note in the bottom of the box that I didn't notice, so I will just read it out. And it says, it's from Dazzle Diamond Dreams, and it says, Jim, thank you for supporting our small mother and daughter business, and we hope you enjoy our one-of-a-kind hand-painted items. We can't wait to see you unbox them on your channel. We hope you come back for more items in the future please leave us a review on Etsy. I certainly will. So as I said, uh, I know Chantel through the Diamond Painting Gym Facebook group and when she said that she was going to start an Etsy store, I thought I've got to go and have a look. And uh, my uh, cover minder collection has just expanded. I have already taken uh, the cover minders from my wife through for her to have a look at and she absolutely loves them, Chantel. Seriously, she is very, very pleased with them. So thank you very much for that. Um, I have to say that um, they, they put my little cover minders to shame. Um, they are large and they are heavy. You will not have to worry about anything leaving that table. Um, I have had a look on the Etsy store, obviously, and there are many, 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 many different designs. Um, definitely worth having a look at. 
a lot of uh, things that I've just never seen before and it isn't all just cover minders. So I will put a link in the description below and uh, that's it for today. So very impressed Chantel, really, really nice. So that's it. Uh, if you want to see any more unbaggings, unboxings, comparisons, um, anything diamond painting related, please subscribe and hit the notification button. And if you do that, you may catch me live on YouTube. Uh, I do random lives. I don't really have set days and times because it's just when I can fit it in. And the whole reason for doing them is just to get to know other diamond painters around the world, spend a bit of time, have a little bit of a chit chat. It could be about diamond painting. It could be about pretty much anything. Um, I enjoy speaking to people around the world and learning a bit about where they live and they can learn a bit about uh, Denmark. Um, I am from Scotland originally, but I moved to Denmark in 2012. So I live in Copenhagen. So there's a few interesting things to learn about Denmark and I'm quite happy to share that. So that's it for today. And in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.